this is one of the ways uh, I kind of experimented today to see how I can charge my battery. First of all, I came over here and I turned off the converter circuit breaker, which is this very bottom one. You can see it's off right here. Converter, you're going to want to make sure that's off. And uh, we'll go outside and look. While I'm boondocking, uh, I thought I would try this out. And uh, this is my lithium charger. And uh, I just clamped it onto the bottom of the terminals there. And this is working pretty good. So this is better. So right now it's 15.6 amps going to the battery. Because my converter uh, is not set up for lithium, I don't have a lithium uh, converter. And uh, it was only putting out an extra five amps when I turned it on. So you can see here, if I can get this to focus, Red 270 amp hours. I've been running the generator with that charger on there for a couple hours now. Mainly for the air conditioner, but I thought I'd try this out. So now we're down. It says the current here is 21.87 amps and 295 watts. Okay, so that's part solar and part of that uh, charger in there. So you get a little more. When I just did the converter with the solar. It, it was only like 15 amps uh, but as we get higher charge here the that charger the amps start to uh, go down lower to a lower charge rate anyway I decided to show that because that might be convenient and I don't have to buy a converter right away but I'll be able to get a full charge with the charger see how this goes that's one way you could charge your battery up to full because the converter without it being lithium is not going to get it charged up all the way which I knew um, I knew that now the solar panels will because I did it the other day it actually took it up to a full charge with my solar solar panel so that's it on how to charge without changing your converter this is just going to be a quick little uh, clip here and I just bought this Bouge RV 40 amp MPPT charger and I was going to go with the Victron, but they had this on sale for a pretty good price for 119 on Amazon Days, Prime Days the other day. So I just did a quick hookup with this uh, gel battery and one of my new solar panels I'm going to be putting on my RV. Um, this is really, really nice. Uh, it's got a built-in Bluetooth, and uh, so you can see... I'm getting 19 volts off of that solar panel but it's I think it's around 430 right now. it's four o'clock right now so the Sun's going down 5.1 5 amps and uh, it has a temperature there and I like it, it I, I just set this up so um, I even you can change the battery type there to what you want and then it's got user controls it goes more in depth of different settings you can do but uh yeah, you just want to make sure you hook up your battery first uh, before you um, hook it up. You don't want to hook your solar panel up or there could be possible damage to it. So I just thought I'd share that. Uh, we'll be installing this hopefully in the next few weeks. And then I got a, I bought two of these. These were on sale for $151 on Amazon Days. So I got one more. So I'll have two new ones plus the one already on the top of the RV. And uh, that's going to do it for that project. And uh, I'll show my update when I uh, get this hooked up. Anyway, uh, I'm not sure if that's still on sale or not, but that's a pretty good buy. And it got really pretty good reviews. I watched some videos online and I liked it. It's a nice aluminum case. Uh, so we're going to try it out. It's got a nice glass front on there. And then there's a magnetic cover that covers this. I just didn't bring it out here. All right. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. <music>